Whether you find them fun or annoying, for the time being, urban scooters are here to stay. And for cities, it's especially important to understand where these vehicles are concentrated so they can keep sidewalks clean and walkable and citizens safe, especially during public events and times of inclement weather. But manually gathering and aggregating data from each of these diverse and independent scooter and bike share vendors, let alone weather and event feeds, can be challenging and time consuming. But what if there was a better way? A way to automate the process that was already built into ArcGIS. Using ArcGIS notebooks and the scheduling functionality you just seen, we are able to build repeatable automated pipelines for gathering, cleaning, and prepping the data to hydrate any ArcGIS application and stay in sync with source data updates. To show you this, I'm going to turn it over to Shireas as we deconstruct and then reconstruct an ArcGIS dashboard of three scooter vendors in the DC area, going from the data up. Shireas? Thank you so much, Shannon. Dashboards are powerful tools to visualize information. In this dashboard, I'm using heat maps to depict the availability and movement of rideshare scooters in Washington, DC. The dashboard also has other pieces of information, such as total available scooters, upcoming events in the city, live traffic, and weather alerts from Living Atlas layers. Dashboards are made up of web maps and feature layers. Let me show you one such feature layer that I have created. This feature layer holds the available scooters from the ride-sharing company Lyft at this moment. But the real life source of this data comes from a public feed made available by Lyft as a structured JSON. You can see that it has a location, an ID for every scooter that's available, and this feed updates often. On the other hand, events that are happening in Washington, DC are actually available on the city's website, such as featured events and what's happening today. So you can see that we have a variety of sources of information not all of them are readily usable, and most of them update very frequently. As a developer, you can use Python notebooks to aggregate information from a variety of sources, enrich, clean it, and then prepare it for a more structured dissemination using an application like Dashboard. So let's begin. Before I start running my notebook, I'm going to clean up all the data that's powering my Dashboard. So using ArcGIS API for Python, I'm able to quickly manage content within my enterprise. So you can see that the data has been cleaned. Let's confirm by going to the dashboard and refreshing it. And you can see all the statistics have gone to zero, no events, total available bikes are zero, and only things that I'm seeing are the layers that I'm bringing from Living Atlas. So this is what I expect. Let's go back and proceed with our notebook to get new data. So the first step, we set up our sources and schemas of our feature layers. So here is the source for the Lyft live feed. The next steps are made up of modular functions, such as this one, to get raw data as HTTP requests. Next. We match this schema, we extract features from the raw data and match it to the schema of our feature layers to create features that we will next append to our feature layers. And the same thing we are doing for stations and statuses. And lastly, we add the data or add the features to our feature layer. In order to run this for all the bike share vendors that we have is as simple as a for loop. So let me run this cell now. And it starts processing features from the live feed, creating features that we will eventually append to our feature layers. And it's now ready. One more thing that we need to do is extract events from the events website. So we begin with our events website. We make HTTP requests to get the HTML page. We parse it with an open source library and extract relevant events, elements from the HTML page that will eventually become events in our events layer. So let me run this cell. And I found about 11 events in the city today. 
So now you can see that this is bringing in sources of data, and you can apply this pattern to other sources as well. Now remember that the data actually updates frequently. In order to keep up, I'm using the scheduled feature that we saw before, and I've scheduled this notebook to run every hour. So let's go back to our dashboard. So the dashboard is faster than I am. It has already refreshed some of the gadgets. So let me go ahead and refresh it one more time. And you can see the fresh data is available, and it will be kept updated every hour using the new scheduling feature. Back to you, Shannon. <laughs> Thank you. Whether you want to have a task run every minute, every hour, or something more, you can. And all of your scheduled tasks live within your notebook and can be easily edited or modified or even ended directly within your enterprise portal, making built-in automation easier than ever. And we are so excited to see how you put this new functionality to use.